A Brief History of Lesotho under King Moshosho I. Lesotho is a landlocked country within a country that is South Africa, but remains a sovereign nation. The nation of Lesotho is exceptional because it is one of the few countries on earth where most of the people own their own homes. Lesotho is also the largest exporter of apparel to the United States of America. One of the country's goals is to become one of the first countries in the world with an electric grid that is run on renewable en energy 100% of the time. Lesotho is a mountainous region of South Africa and the mountains have always served as a barrier of protection against invaders. The land was occupied by the Khoisan, who were hunters and gatherers throughout the whole Stone Age. However, in the 16th century, the Soto people moved into the valley of the Caledon River because of Chaka's Mufekani or Difakani Wars. The Mufekani is translated to mean the war that results in the total crushing of the opposing armies. The Soto were agriculturalists, and with time, their population overtook the population of the Khoisan. King Moshoeshoe the I, who is considered the founder of Lesotho, reigned from 1822 to 1870. He waged one of the most effective resistance efforts to colonialism, from the Dutch Boer settlers and the British Empire over many decades. Moshoeshoe was able to keep Lesotho separate and intact from British South Africa and apartheid South Africa both during and after its colonial phase. Part of his success is from the fact that he never suffered a major military defeat and retained most of his kingdom and all of his culture. Moshoeshoe Day is a national holiday in Lesotho, celebrated every year on the 11th of March to commemorate the day of Moshoeshoe's death. While he was king, Moshoeshoe was a true African leader who united the decentralized chiefdoms of the neighboring people. Under his leadership, they used what is known as the Mafisa system. The Mafisa system involved rich men lending one or two cattle to the poor who would look after the cattle and use them to plow the land plus obtain milk to feed their families. The Mafisa system created a sense of kingship among the Soto people. Moshoesho was an authentic leader because he used the Pizzo system of leadership. The Pizzo system is a consultative congress that advised him on how to manage the affairs of the Soto people. This goes against the false narratives that dictators are a customary part of African leadership.